blam, blam. Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to the Backyard SMP. I am here looking fancy. I'm Mr. Fancy with the fancy fancy, and oh, I, I love this skin. So, I've got a few plans today, and most of it involves spawn. So I think let's just start heading over there, and we can have a quick look and see how spawn is looking, because I haven't really been there in a while, and I've heard there's quite a few changes. Let's go. Yeah, I need to make a... Uh... A path to spawn for me because this is not ideal. Now this is cute. Don't know if this is spawn. I think this is just someone's base. Hello, Crisp was here. I don't think this is Crispy's area though. Maybe it is. I don't know. Here seems to be a path that ends straight away. Great. Okay, so here is spawn, and it doesn't look very horse accessible. Wow, this has changed quite a bit. This is lovely. There's the wool shop. Let's see if I can find somewhere to. Uh, Dock my horse. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly borrow uh, Hool's stables. Uh, don't sell them. Fancy meeting you here. Yes, indeed. Stay away. I see you. <laughs> Hello. I was waiting for you. Is I? Why are you here? Oh, you know, just visiting. Nice place you, you got visiting? here. Why are you, Why are you just walking into my house? Why are the cats here? <laughs> mm, don't, don't worry, that's, that's just Pachinko. He's just the inspector. Just making okay. sure this place is up to code. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, you see these these chests here are real uh, hazard. They could easily just think? fall on you. I think but maybe we need to just... they were reinforced on the sides of the trap doors, so it's, uh, it's okay. We'll see when you become flattened by it sometime. <laughs> oh, well, this is definitely not up to code. This is... this is perfectly fine. Now, this is just an accident waiting to happen. My cat's up here. Look. Because if your cat can make it, it's fine. You've got me there. <gasps> I see that you also had a... Uh... Oh. Now this is definitely not up to code. Where's the foundations? What do you mean? Where are you? Just think of all the... Think of the sinkhole that could happen down here. <laughs> so as a uh, payment for my services, I shall be right. taking... Something. Hmm. Something. Let's see, what's, what's interesting here? Now this is definitely not up to code. It, I oh. think it's fine. I haven't fallen. I've been here ten minutes and I've already fallen. <laughs> I shall take this button. As payment. As payment for my services. I'll I'll, okay. I'll be back again soon, and if it hasn't been uh, rectified, then you'll be losing another item. But I can't rectify it if you don't tell me what I have to improve and fix. Well, okay, so you need to get better foundations, you need to have at least some signage to say hazard, make sure there's no climbing, and okay. I think also maybe farm some potatoes, they're, they're more structural. Yeah. Don't blame me if your house collapses, bye! <laughs> Lovely shop. I've not been here yet. Do not. Do not inspect. I am here to inspect, but no, uh, no not on business. I did not actually bring any diamonds, so that's unhelpful. <laughs> uh, I am more here to inspect for a plot to build something of my own. And I don't really know how big of an area. Camels. Susan! It's Susan the camel. And Idaho. Good old Susan. I think over this way is probably going to be my best bet. Up here might be good. Oh, okay, yeah, because Chris wanted the path. We had to redo the path because Raph's put a giant library right <laughs> in the way. <laughs> That's directly in front of where the bridge was going to go. Like the, the worst <laughs> place he could have put it. But it's a really cool library. It's lovely. I do like it. And everyone's so much more progressed than I am. I mean, you you went all the way to the end so to get crazy. chorus You've fruits. Already done that to get a piece of chorus for your tower. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am the only person on the server with a shulker box, so <laughs> that's, that's I got that. True. I do have a bundle. Ooh, 
Oh yeah, I thought my, my soup stand is still here. Do you have plans to renovate, or is it my new stay? shop is my new shop's gonna be a bigger version of this? But I don't think this is a big enough plot for it, so I'll probably move it up onto the hill here. I mean, if you're happy, then I'm. I could stick my honey shop here because um, yeah. Crisp and I had an idea for a, a fountain or something here Ooh, for like the happiness. center, because all the roads seem to come here. Yeah, that'd be nice. No, worries. still loads of soups left. Well, you you messed up with one item for soup, and they just used the ball. <laughs> Oh, come on, really? <laughs> yeah, they did. I saw someone stream or video <laughs> saying that they just you, bought one soup and then just bought the rest with the bowl. <laughs> I, I I also, someone bought uh, mushroom stews for uh, one mushroom. <laughs> as well. Oh. <laughs> so I made, I, made a, I made a critical financial error with this building. <laughs> you did. It was a practice store. It yeah, was a good but... practice. <laughs> I don't engage in business very often, so yeah. I've learned my lesson. Oh, hang on, what did it say? Rest here for sweet dreams. Yes, please. Oh, I'm... you... you <laughs> oh, the cat's here too. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> We're all just sharing the bed. I'm not even selling Lily of the Valley because um, it's my favorite flower, so they're all for me. And I just <laughs> can't find any. I've only just found one stack's worth after three weeks. It's not going to open. Stop inspecting the shop. This chest mm. is just for decorative purposes. Why? Hey, we've got a nice spot there. Uh, oh, uh, oh. So let's go and gather some resources. I have no idea what... Oh, treat. I have no idea what aesthetic we're going to go for. But ooh, there's a little path here. Let's see where this goes. And yeah, I'll have to figure out some block palettes. We're in an autumn area, so I might try and go for maybe an orangey theme. That sounds quite nice. I think what I'll do is I'm going to fill up my shulker box and we'll get as many resources as I can and I can just do some experimenting because no creative mode, I don't like it. Oh god, I, that was a bad time to go in first person mode. So I actually have exactly 30 levels, so I think I want to do a quick enchantment and I'm not sure what I want to enchant. Probably my axe, I really need a better axe. So let's... Oh, efficiency 4, perfect. Uh, do I have any lapis? I do. Come on, give me a baking. Fortune. That's probably the one I wanted least, but okay, I'll take it. All right, let's get to wherever my shulker box is. I don't actually know why I've left it. So I've made a shulker box of a bunch of resources that might work over here. And there's a couple that I am missing that I think would work quite well. But luckily, I am here in a shopping area. So let's just hope that some people have it in stock. And let's have a quick look over here. Yeah, I think I want to get some mangrove logs. So how much is it? One diamond for one stack, two diamonds for three stacks. But they don't seem to have acacia, which is what I wanted. But I will get two stacks of mangrove logs. So two stacks of them. And then... <laughs> get off the chest. And there's no uh, oak left. I can't open the dark oak. But, okay, yeah, I'll spruce. Sorry. I'll also grab three stacks of spruce logs as well. There's also wool here, so if I want any wool, I can buy some of that too. Have I actually explained what I'm building here? If I haven't, I'm building a cat cafe. I think it sounds fun, and I want to have somewhere to sell food, I think. Probably like the mushroom stews, they're not exactly amazing food, but hey, it's food nonetheless. Chinko is trapped. No! I see. Interesting. F3B. There we go. Uh, let's get you guys away. And let's put this back. Yeah, okay. I think I want to have like an L shape. Have a little entrance here that will then go into like a little seating area. And then back here can be a little kitchen. I think that could be nice. Maybe I'll have like a little bit outdoor seating over here. Actually, I'm going to have the L reversed and then have the outdoor seating over here next to the path. That'd be nice. Okay, now to figure out what the upper layer is going to look like. 
I'm going to try and have this building be on the more condensed side. Might even make this a bit skinnier. And I don't know what the top floor is going to look like. So I'm leaning towards mangrove just because I think that would be very pretty. I want to see what these look like with the tough bricks. It's not terrible. I quite like that. And what does this look like with the leaves? Now that's quite nice. Okay, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. That was an easy decision. Then the final question is the roof. And I'm kind of thinking about doing a blackstone roof, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So I'll be right back once I've done a bit more building. Here it is. Oh, I love it. I think it's very pretty. It still needs a bit of work, like it's not textured at all, it's all that, but that's fine. We can sort that out later. But on the inside, it is looking lovely. And look, we have a tree in here now too. Oh, it's beautiful. I think a cat climbing tree is just... Imagine like how much the cats would be loving this. Oh, I, I want to get one of these for my own house. It is very nice in here, and look at this. This is a really cute little addition by Crispy. This is a uh, decorated pot with a carpet on top, and it looks just like a cat bowl. So, yeah, I really like that. And I got myself some cats sitting on some of the tables, and I want to get a few more in here. I just need to bring them over. And back here, we have, like, this the uh, little uh, counter for selling food. But also up top, we've got a little office. And then downstairs, we have a dungeon. Well, it's going to be a kitchen, but right now it's a little bit ominous. So what I want to do down here is actually do a little bit of redstone. Because uh, I want to try it using the crafters. And I think the crafters are pretty perfect for making mushroom stews and such. So... Yeah, I think I want the main food of this place to just be mushroom stews. I doubt it'll be a very profitable business, but hey, it's at least fun. So I need to figure out how to actually make a craft. Unless it's night time, quickly go to sleep. Okay, let's have a quick look at the recipe. Crafter. That's it. That's super cheap. I hear zombie. Go away. Okay, I have made myself three crafters. Because I think that is all I am going to need for down here. I don't know why I place them like that, but it's got some beautiful texture. Oh, I love it. I love the texture. And you can also place these facing up and down, so you get even more control over both the resin and the aesthetics, which is lovely. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And that'll make bowls, and then I can just have it so whenever I need to craft up a stew, it just goes flip and activates it. Perfect. Now here's something I didn't consider before, is that this next one is going to make mushroom stew. So this will be a bowl, a mushroom, and a red mushroom, and that makes a mushroom stew. Blam. <laughs> wow, it just chucked it against the wall. Now the thing I didn't consider is that this is going to make four bowls per craft, while this one is only going to use one which means that basically I'll have to have this activate every fourth time that this one activates. Interesting. And then there is actually one more option that I would like to do, which is going to be using flowers. Because if you combine a flower into a mushroom stew, you will then get a suspicious stew. And I don't actually know what an oxide daisy gives me. Oh, didn't actually throw that one this time. Can I eat this yet? I can. Okay, what effect does this give me? Oh, this gave me regeneration. That is nice. Okay. Okay, I have realized that my plan is not going to work, which is a shame because basically if I just quickly set up some levers here, 
The first one over here will craft up logs that will then go into planks into here and then start filling up the bowl recipe like that. Then the next one will activate the bowl crafter and go into this one here, but I want you to watch what happens. Yeah, okay, so all the bowls ended up going into this slot, which is uh, not exactly what I had in mind. And also, shut up, spider. So yeah, that's not what I wanted, and there's no real way of avoiding that. So I'm either just going to have to have this one dedicated to just mushroom soup. Okay, this was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I've got a design here that I believe is functional. And I think what I'll do is set up a separate crafter specifically to make the suspicious stews. The issue is that I don't have enough flowers, so I might have to get in talks with Myson and get some flowers, though that might be some hard negotiations since I have been annoying him. But now the next step should just be a case of decorating and making this look all kitcheny. So how about we do a little bit of this? And there we go. Look, oh, it's beautiful. I think this might genuinely be my, like, favourite interior I've ever done. I think it looks absolutely lovely in here. I've gone for a different colour palette than before. I've got the tough over here still, but then I'm going to have, like, mud bricks down here, and I think it looks absolutely charming. It's so cosy feeling down here. I also got, like, some, uh, like, mixed wood flooring, which I usually don't like, but I think it works really well for this place. Uh, I've also got myself some little, uh, some little cat workers down here who are all doing a fantastic job. I like the idea that this place is actually just full up run by cats. Like, it isn't just, like, a place to hang with them. They, they straight up run the place, and up here we even have a boss. Pachinko! Pachinko is now the owner of the establishment. <laughs> and he handles all the finances, I suppose. Okay, let's give a better explanation of how this works, because uh, I did one earlier and it was not great. So the basic idea is that whenever you press this button, it will craft up a soup. So one, two, three. But on the fourth press, I need it to also craft a bowl and craft up the wood to make into a bowl. And the way it does that is back here is a little counter. So each time I press the button, it will go up on the counter, and once it reaches four, it will activate this uh, this crafter down here, which will also activate the one above it. That's 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 the concept. So when I press this, it will activate this one, which will then activate that one, and then activate that one. And I've not actually done that since what had that. There we go. <laughs> so it, it, um, imagine it did that without breaking the light. <laughs> I am in dire need of two things. Numero one, mushrooms. I am completely out of mushrooms. I'm down to 11 and 9, yeah, so lacking on them. And also, I need some more cats, which I know might sound insane, but uh, I am currently missing, I believe, three breeds of cats. And I am missing the British short hair, the mine, the red and the white cat. So I think I want to go explore some villages and try and find myself those cats. But before that, uh, there's going to be a slight change on the exterior of this building. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So basically, Myson and um, Crispy came over and just absolutely hammered out customizing this area like I I went to bed went out for a bit and came back and this is what had happened it looks beautiful and oh it's amazing but yeah so my house or my cafe is looking a lot nicer here and I also have a name for it I've gone with a catspacho like gazpacho and well you, you can guess the other bit and also out here they added a little bit of a water feature out here and they did ask and I think it looks lovely I wasn't really sure what to do with that side of the building, so uh, they figured something out for me. I might add some texturing to the sides, but I'll figure that out. It's quite the entrance. <laughs> so I know of two villagers. There is the one in that desert that I found. Actually, there's, there's the one in Savannah, and there's also the one just over this way. 
So I'm going to quickly head over to this one first and see if I can find myself a red cat, a white cat, or a grey cat. Okay, so I found this much nicer, more flat one. And I see some cats already. Ooh, white. I think that's a white cat. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Okay, hopefully I'll be back once I have the remaining two cats. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah! Oh, God, that took longer than I would like to admit. Okay, let's now try and get myself home, wherever that is. Uh oh. And we are home, and I may have had a accident or two. Yeah, we didn't make, we, not all of our friends got back. Um, anyways, let's do a little bit of breeding and hopefully get a few more of these. Because right now I only have a couple white ones and uh, only one orange and one grey made it back. I've got no idea where the other ones are, so uh, let's get some cat breeding going. Okay, I'm going to take one of each back to the cat cafe and then we can get ourselves... A complete building. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's see if I can get all these cats in here. Let's do the orange one first. Okay, I think I want to get one of these cats up into the... here. The question is... How? <laughs> okay, that's one cat. Then I think I want to do maybe a cat on this little uh, slab here. Okay, that is cat number two. And then I need to have one more cat. Okay, I've just realized I actually have two of the same cat. So I'm going to take you off of here. And I'm going to swap you out with the white cat. And here we go. Okay, perfect. So there should now be 11 cats in here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. We now have one of every cat in the cat cafe. Wonderful. So I guess the only thing I need to do now is just get a mushroom supply. So yesterday was Mycin Rear's birthday and we had a little party for him. I went fishing and stuff, but unfortunately it was quite late, so I couldn't stay for the whole time. But we did have uh, some interesting moments. CC's Wait, OP. does this mean you've killed the cats? It was an accident. Oh, yeah. You're killing your own cat, CC. Uh, well, technically, this was a stray I killed. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> does it make it better? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sure. It was an accident. That doesn't make it okay. Want to do a fishing rod slingshot? Okay. Yeah, okay. Three, two, Wait, oh, no. Pull. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> Almost. A bit, a bit further back. <laughs> this. Many attempts. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh, no. oh. Three. I think I am. Two. Isn't, but... One. Billy's not. Pull. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh no! We're not very good at this, are we? <laughs> <laughs> we not pull. really. Okay. Three. Two. One. Pull. Oh my god! Oh, goodbye! <laughs> I really did go to the moon, guys! <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Three, two, one, pull. Whee! Oh, Whoa! Oh, my Whoa. Goodness. oh no, oh no! No, me! Hey! Got it. Oh. Three, okay. two, one, pull. Oh Whoa. my god! Whoa. Oh, wow, oh, he's, oh, he's oh, gone! Bye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> get, get, get a totem? I can do one more before we go to bed. Oh, I go to bed, I should say. It's 2 a.m. for me. <laughs> before we all go to bed. Before oh, yeah, well, everyone go to bed. To Bedtime. Bed. It's bedtime. Everyone has to bedtime leave. No. Put me down. No. <laughs> oh, who's got me? <laughs> Ready? Right, we're all on. Are we hooked? Three, on. two, one, pull. Oh my god! Oh my oh. goodness! I think that's the highest. Can I have it? Can we have it? Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Into the sun. All right now, bedtime, guys. Bye. Ah!